We are here from UPMC Cooper Fieldhouse, the Davidson Wildcats and the Duquesne Dukes. Jeff Arnold with you alongside former UMass and Chattanooga head coach Matt McCall. And Matt, you have two teams right now playing excellent basketball in the month of February. Do not let this six and nine record by the Davidson Wildcats fool you. Six of those losses have been by two possessions or less. They're playing their best basketball in conference season right now at this moment. Scottman who they would like to shoot a little bit more. He'll tee one up here and knock it down. And that's what makes it so difficult. Your normal pick and roll coverage. You can see Duquesne wants to ice that ball screen. In and out and back in for Dana Grant. Dana Grant liked that matchup with the five man on him. And he was a high school coach of LeBron's. Eight on the shot clock here. Huffman, and that's a three ball. And he's a guy that you don't think for Davidson in terms of shooting it from behind a three-point line, just 17%. Wildcats up by 12 points, trying for their third win in a row. Lawyer on the back door, Gunn and Bailey with the flush. What a pass by Foster Lawyer. 14-point lead for Davidson. I mean, this is a Duquesne team that has played as good a basketball as any team in the conference. There's the alley-oop they connect with. Austin Rotrop. Off the cast, Grant hits a three, and that is a big one. When they broke the press, he saw that he didn't have numbers and dribbled it out, and that'll give them an opportunity to execute their offense. Out of the corner, rattled in there by Connor Kachera. It's gonna back in against Kachera. They work it around. And that is a good three from D.D. Grant. Around, multiple guys touched it in the possession, and this is what they've got to do. Try to create turnovers and get out on the break and find some easy baskets. Rogier didn't have numbers. Beautiful pass inside for Rotroff. Working against Huffman, great defender for Davidson. McGriff will tee it up and drill it. The fact that it's been more of a balanced attack has been the reason why Davidson has this lead. Looking for an answer. There it is from Clark just with the pressure that Duquesne's gonna bring to look for Coach McKillop. Turn it over here to go some offense, defense, and possession as Clark is out of the play. Rattle one home for the dunk. Duquesne has got it down to four. All set up by Trey Williams stepping in the passing lane and forcing the turnover. Grant, he's alone in the corner. Duquesne, they found their guy in the corner. They didn't panic, they didn't try to go too fast. The Davidson lead of 16 is evaporated, but that's why you want Lawyer on your team. He answers right back. Here with Williams, five to shoot. Three ball from Lawyer, he got it! He got the switch, he got the matchup that he wanted, and he knew that basketball was going through the net. He got right back on defense. Underneath the basket, Clark went the reverse. Thought he should have been called for it. Should have gotten another one at the free throw line. Continued to improve, and his team got one heck of a win here on the road. An impressive effort by the Davidson Wildcats. They pick up a win in a close game as Davidson, they're able to get out to a big lead in the first half. Quite a comeback by Duquesne, who had a look at the very end from Jimmy Clark. He couldn't hit it and then Huffman seals the game with one at the free throw line.